It's been eight years since wireless charging first came to smartphones, but it took Apple building it into the iPhone to make it matter to the mainstream. Well, that's fine by me, because I've been charging my phones cord-free since 2009, and I'm just happy to have more people to the party. But charging wirelessly is entirely different from the cables you're used to. I'm Mr. Mobile, and here's what you need to know if you're buying a wireless charger in 2017. Good news! The most important choice about buying a wireless charger has pretty much already been made for you. See, for years there was this format war between two wireless charging standards, the people behind Qi and another group called the Air Fuel Alliance. And it was a mess. Phones with Qi charging coils inside didn't work with air fuel pads, and vice versa. Well, now that Apple has chosen Qi for the iPhone, we finally have a de facto winner. All the chargers I'm about to show you are Qi powered. But before you buy any of them, make sure your phone is compatible. The iPhone 8 and iPhone 10 device families are covered, and Android Central has a list of compatible Android phones, which I'll link to in the description. Sorry, none of these will charge your smartwatch. At least, not terribly well. That's a whole other thing. The most important consideration you actually do have to pay attention to is power. Despite what the branding on your charger says, wireless charging is not as fast as a cable hooked up to one of today's quick charge adapters. But there's still a way to get a sense of how fast a particular charger is by looking at its output wattage. A few years back, the standard for wireless charging was 5 watts, which takes hours and hours to take a modern phone from dead to full. But most chargers top out around 10 watts today. So stick close to 10 watts if you can, and if the label doesn't tell you the wattage, this is a really simple formula for figuring it out. Then there's hardware style. And this is important because your phone needs to stay right on top of the pad, so you can't really use it while it's charging wirelessly, unless you get a charger that holds your phone upright. The first one of these I ever used was called the Tilt View which I'd still be using today if it weren't for that feeble 5 watt output. Fortunately, I found two modern alternatives on Amazon with a 10 watt rating from brands called Pasanomi and Itian. I don't recognize their names at all, and they don't have the proven track record of the Tilt product, but I dig the faster charging rate and the look. Of these, I like the Itian a little bit more. The Pasanomi has a metal base plate, which makes for grating, scraping sounds if your phone is also metal. And its charging LED is up top, so it's hidden if you charge in portrait orientation. The good news? You can charge in landscape mode with both of these. And the price sure is right, at about 20 to 25 bucks on Amazon. Links to all of these are down in the description, by the way. If what you want is a charger you can take on the road, the puck design is the most ubiquitous, and the best ones offer a rubber pad so your phone doesn't slide around. Apple's advertising the Belkin Boost Up on its website, which works well with the iPhone 8, even through a thick case. But it is on the big side, and at 60 bucks, it's also pricey. You can save about 10 bucks and some space in your bag with the RAV Power wireless charger, which delivers 10 watts in a smaller footprint. It's also compatible with an available metal stand. This is by no means flashy. I tend to appreciate a little more flair in my accessories, but I've been using RAV Power battery packs for a long time, and I've come to trust their name. Or you can go the Super Saver route and get a bamboo wood puck from the aptly named phone salesman. Pay attention when you're checking out. You want to make sure you get the fast charging 10 watt version, not the older one. And do it quick if you want it, because at press time this thing was selling for 20 bucks. The only downside? Because it's bamboo with no rubber pad, your phone is prone to sliding around a little. At least it beeps to let you know when you're in the zone. But really, why choose between a pad and a stand when you could get the best of both worlds? The wireless charger I use most often in the studio is Samsung's convertible fast charger, which came in the press kit with my Galaxy Note 8 review device. This is a really nice accessory. The faux leather landing zone is gentle on glass backs, it's rated at 9 watts of output, and there's even a built-in fan to carry away some of the heat characteristic of wireless charging. But if you're really looking to justify the $60 to $90 list price, depending on where you get it, 
Well, it's the brand name. I mean, if there's anyone who's going to put safety first when it comes to batteries in 2017, it's Samsung. If money is tight for you, though, and you still want a convertible, I found a seven angle charger from a company called Qi Infinity that'll get you back down to the $20 range. Uh, there's no fan here, and it's very particular about the type of wall charger it plays nice with, but it works, and I like its little LEDs on the base. The final important point to keep in mind is that a wireless charger can only do a good job if it's plugged into the right adapter. You won't get fast charging with a wimpy one amp wall wart. The Qi Infinity says it needs a quick charge 2.0 plug, and Samsung even warns that using less than a two amp charger could damage its unit. Oftentimes it's as easy as just using the adapter that came in the box with your phone, but nevertheless, pay close attention to the fine print when you're buying one of these. There are charging pads out there that don't need to be plugged in, at least not all the time. For 80 and 50 bucks respectively, the Pond Ripple and phone salesman Chi Stone Plus are essentially batteries with wireless charging plates strapped on. While they're each in the pokey 5 watt club, they're still fun. Also, the Chi Stone has wireless charging on both sides, so you can wirelessly charge while you wirelessly charge. Yo dog. And if you want to be super cutting edge, some companies like IKEA are selling furniture like floor lamps and side tables with Qi built right in. For my part, I've been using the phone salesman Furnichi as a bedside table for years. Yeah, I know, that's the worst brand name I've ever heard of too. And also, it's a kind of frustrating charger because that flush surface is tough to feel out and almost impossible to see. But it too beeps to let you know you're in the zone and I've got to forgive its shortcomings because I d look how cool this looks. If you're a minimalist, this is awesome. Is it $200 awesome? Yeah, I don't think so. But that's the last product I have to share with you, so time for you to weigh in. Drop a comment below with your favorite wireless charger from my list. Check the description for links to buy all the chargers in this video. And if you know of a better one, share your list. Mophie, Skosh, and Apple itself are all companies with forthcoming wireless chargers I'm dying to test, so be sure to subscribe to The Mr. Mobile on YouTube so you don't miss those videos when they land. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends.